Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues using a special submod called Old World Blues. New Brandenburg, also known as Bismarck, which is going to continue with our A to Z series, of course, in Old World Blues. But we're led by Henry Sunderman, a political workhorse, an expert negotiator. But we've got to talk about Bismarck's descendants, which does have a unique focus tree here, so... Many wasteland cities have forgotten the people's history, but Bismarck's elders still recall their tale. Our homeland, Deutschland, have fallen apart like many other lands. Our people fled the chaos to this isolated bastion. They have brought their families, culture, and, of course, their heritage. The Grossflüchen. Many wasteland cities have forgotten the people's history, but Bismarck's elders still recall their tale. Our homeland, Deutschland, have fallen apart like many other lands. Um, it's basically the same thing I just read, but uh, then the heritage of a fiery military prowess. Am I reading that right? Plus 50% breakthrough for demo equipment. Hatched from a fragment as brilliant engineers. Um, 5% infantry technology research speed and 4% better production cost. Yeah, the imp improvised mass drivers are very nice. I wanted the bigger number. The Great Domination. When the US annexed Canada, chaos erupted across the Northern Territories from the hasty military action. In Bismarck, the, local, the elected local government collapsed, and chaos nearly engulfed the city, if not for the judges. And what would be remembered as the great nomination? The judges nominated themselves as the sole legitimate governing body of the new state of New Brandenburg. And jury nullification, recently the Grand Court has been heavily criticized for the decisions of the judge. There was a slow burn, a questionable verdict here, a bailiff asked, sacked there, and eventually a few corrupt judges pressured to retire. Eventually the outrage grew too much, and things have quickly spiraled out of control. De grosse nominierung. Well, other city governments collapsed during the Canadian annexation. Bismarck remained stable thanks to the self-nomination of the judges. They maintained law and order through expedient and just rulings, uh, protecting the Bismarckians from the mismanagement. One case that cemented their role as the sole governing body was their case on the citizens' hunting rights. Ooh. Refuting the law enforcement nat nationalization. Ooh. Overruling exorbitant entrepreneurship taxes. I like that one too. I'm going to go with the ruler just because we already went with frag grenades and that sounds very aggressive and we want to get more arms workshops. So we also have the River League, which is not bad. Urge to group a population factor and attack, which sucks, but we get way more output, which is for Dockyard, which is okay. Better passive caps and company, but technology uh, equipment production cost goes down and more political power. And we've had from a grenade, which is really nice too. The Briators, Men of Answers. Revisit. Reallocation, man of iron. Oh, okay. Oh, so we we could have gone with this one. We could have gone with this one if we chose the other one. Oh, Gauss weaponry. Oh my God. Gauss weaponry would have been so nice. Energy weapons would have been cool. Heavy RCW. But we could go this way with Flamenbrev, Flamers, Flamers, or Grenadiers, which sounds like the one we should probably do. Frag grenades. Yeah. Sophisticated support tech. Oh. We get sophisticated support tech for that one? Oh, they get for both of them. Um, Gauss weapon is pretty decent too. That kind of. Do not have riots. Do not have riots. Reinvest in community, 60 day focus. The league's domain, tool procurement. Developing plans. Oh, good god, tool procurement. Um, well, the rioters. The dissatisfaction with the Grand Court has led to a mass protesting in Bismarck, the economic and cultural heart of New Brandenburg. These protests have inevitably become full-blown riots. Our nation must remedy this political turmoil before any plans for reforms or expansion can be made. The Grand Court may be too slow of an entity to deal with the problem on its own, and it needs to grant more power to another figure to prevent total anarchy. Jury annulierum. Annulierum. As the control grew about what is new now in New Brandenburg, the judges continued to keep peace for centuries. More than just a few decades, though. Um, they have lost favor with much of the population, especially the downtrodden of Bismarck. A series of unpopular trials was a tipping point, in particular the overruling of private gun ownership. Ooh. Denial uh, of unrestrained immigration. Support for the Chancellor's Force for land, re land reallocation. Hmm. We need more guns. Yeah, we could use more guns. Um, basic stuff, though, which is not great. Army XP is pretty decent to get. That seems very civvy like. You know what? Let's take the biggest hit. Empower the Ice Counselor, the Briots. Riders, known colloquially as Briots, have brought the heart of New Brandenburg to a halt. Literally surrounded by an angry mob, the ground court must choose their actions carefully, lest the country descend in chaos. Literally going AD throughout reason. Giving Bailiff Suderman emergency powers allow him to arrest the most problematic rioters. Von Schleicher could easily crush his riders, but can he be trusted? Alternatively, the judges could simply try and wait out the riots. It's not calm in the eye of the storm. Hmm. 
Ice cancel there. Mobilize a mob. Riot, huh? So this will determine which one of these three ways we want to go. Our victory. People. Teach German linguistics. Political power, that's not bad. Ein Sprachisch. Befreiung. Revitalize a city. Land the moon. That's not bad. A finale. You get a lot of war goals. Zedo Lebensraum. Ooh. Proclaim Greater Bismarck. König Pöbel. People, King's people, huh? I guess it's not Leute. Make them kneel. Break the rock. Ride south. Fall through the north. March west. But what is this? Night of the Icicle. The Frozen Trial. Thoughtens Ponds. Confederate, confederate the North Dakotans. So we'd be a ruler to do this. An encroaching religion. Forgive and unite. Sturdy boost. No one likes roaches. Down Ooh, go to the nests. Uh, promote the people. Connect the cultures. Get a course. Top of the rock. Dakota Grundungstag. Dakota Reich. Holy crap. Dakota Dakota Schner. Dakota Schner. Kaiser. Wow. The Great Ghoul Hunt. Or there's this route over here too. Bring the bailiff. Informants. Focus on leadership. Purge supporters. Order prevails. Well, hold on. So the judges, uh, we're already there. They are elites. I did empower the chancellor though a little bit. Um, diplomatic preparations. First preppers. Papers. Um, ice pact. Alone but not afraid. It's for our alliance. Prepare our people. Secure the east. Recruit hunters. Um, that sounds fun and all. As much as I like this route, I think I want to go the center route and try it out and see what happens. Maybe it'll be good, maybe it won't be good, but I want to try to get this one. The Great Ghoul Hunt, so we're going to go down at least this way. Empower the Ice Counselor. Originally known as Ice General von Schleicher, he was made into a new Brandenburgish uh, hero from his generous def or genius defense of gar gar garrison. As men lured the unbound onto soft snow, ruining the war machines, the silo worshippers were led to radioactive containers which distracted some of the more devout followers, sowing enough confusion for a decisive counterattack. And either there's little doubt that Von Schleich will be able to end the riots, but there is concern over the Chancellor's ambitions. Will this request be like the garrison invasion? Propelling the Ice Chancellor to even more powers? Also, we're led by. Who? The Briots. Okay, this really sucks. So, on the recourse? Well, we're going to need more political power, but we're going to lose it anyways, because I do want to go with the Ice Chancellor. Chancellor Von Schleich, who's our general right now, too? And I like those, we get 5% more political, po uh, political power. And a crucial population factor, Luis Erhard, huh? Um, well, give us that pee, -pee. If we can, I'm, hmm, it's not bad. Rainer Ortleb, academic Noel, academic expert. That is not bad. But we'd be intellectual, so we can't get that guy. God dang it. This is different, too. Victoria Adelaide, not bad. Economic League, actually, that's not bad. That's actually really good. That's awesome, actually. I'd like to go there, but we're not going to be able to get there in time, probably, because we're going to lose so much political power. So we're just going to grab probably conventional army experience, just so we can start working some army XP. Oh, we need more than 50 political power. God dang it, my bad. Uh, uh, revisit reallocation? Sure. Much like his land reallocation program was halted by the, uh, the Briots. We should consider continuing this program to develop our domestic arms manufacturing. My bad, I should have realized that. Um, but yeah, this is a very interesting nation. Daniel Banks, you don't sound very German. Ooh, that's worse for supply consumption too. But you have our army XP gain, so uh, you're okay in my book. Keep training for now. These guys, these divisions are not bad. Oh, we can have to have to eight. That's nice. The winner specialist too. Von Schleicher, Chancellor Von Schleicher. Yes, I'm saying, saying his name right. I think so. Hope I am. Yeah, these divisions are not bad. Ten in common with is okay. Pre-war bottle cap factory. Recently, our scouts have stumbled upon something mag magnificent: a massive pre-war bottle cap production facility. Fortunately for us, the currency is based on these little bits of metal. Yippee! We can use the cart these home to spread on definitely not booze, or we can seal this place up and then blow it off in the face of the earth. Your choice, Henry Suderman. We have to take a bath in it. Wow. Captain Cone goes down. Kaboom to smithereens. 
Well, let's get a few more rioters. Von Schleicher proposes. A different approach to Suderman. While the bailiff wanted to avoid escalating the situation, the Chancellor decreed or, uh, the action as not but indolence. He argued that only defeating the riders in detail will restore faith in the court. After some time, the judges ruled 11 to, 20, uh, 11 to 10 in favor of Schleicher. And also did hunt the leaders. The streets surrounding the court now empty. The Chancellor did not let the silence continue. He requested permission to hunt down the leaders of the riots. Judges had little dissent and granted them authority to arrest any considered problematic. Incriminate judges. Much like again approaches the court, again with a demand on his lips. He informs the judges that he has discovered the members of the Grand Court and implicated in the riots. As such, he requests permission to arrest the judges. The judges, of course, debate this accusation that some of them have conspired against themselves, many fearfully glancing at the soldiers the Chancellor has placed outside the court for their protection. When the whispers are settled, the judges turn to the Chancellor, who was still as, who was still as ice, with a smile of frost. For right now, we're really trying to, we're getting rid of the elites, we're trying to get rid of the mob, we really want the Chancellor here. Um, I'm not sure how to do it. Also, we grab this guy for now because I wanted more political power because we could do it. Um, I'm not sure how we are going to be able to do all this. Um, it's not bad. That position is not bad either. Uh, I'm going to go with the army. Spread propaganda. Von Schleicher has ordered his men to spread posters of patriotic urge to report any concerns to the Chancellery. Some judges noted that the Chancellor should have delegated such a report to the court, but the Chancellor laughed at such complaints. Is some gowned frump. He can listen to other people's concerns and crush a brighter. It is, it is no challenge to him. So this keeps changing. On the of the ice more than 30% support for the Chancellor. More than 31% chance for this support for the Chancellor, which is kind of weird that it keeps going up and down. So This focus will continue even when the requirements are no longer met. Okay, that's interesting. Nice. Uh, spread propaganda, though. Intimidate rivals. That bailiff, Suderman, has not given up an inch. It has prevented the Chancellor from fully capitalizing on the broader situation for far too long. That laptop thinks that because he has the unmitigated trust of the judges that he is safe from danger. It's time to realize just how short the hands of justice truly are. 20% more support for ruler. Well, that's pretty good. Oh, we can't. Oh, this is what we have tech levels. We have nothing for robotics and nothing for aircraft, which is going to be kind of painful for us, to be honest. So, that kind of sucks a lot. Bicycles, caravan equipment, sure, why not? Oh, we do have seven divisions though, that's pretty decent. We have one special forces, which is also very good. I'm glad I got what we got earlier. I got this one, because we get more army to be that way too. Uh, manpower would be nice. But we're going to grab the Golden Gecko, because it's always... I always do this one, because it it's only 5% more political power. Is it really worth it? Probably not. But he does give you more passive cast income and a little more stability, which is also very nice as well. 39% support and 25%, which is interesting. Requires one of the following, but we still can't do that. Just gonna suck. You know what? Just go and do that anyways. If we don't have to do intimidate rivals, we don't have to lose stability, so we'll see. Maybe it'll be good, maybe it won't be good. A little bit of time there, doing grand battle plan or uh, conventional warfare. Sorry, I was playing too much normal Hoy 4. Um Good. I'm gonna get oh, roughly two political power day, nice. Of course with Henry Suderman twice. Um, plus 50% political power, plus 10% more political power. It's super nice. Garrison's garrison. Uh, pawn, secret language. The political barriers between the ice cancellor and supreme control have been rounded up, and he's free to do as he pleases with them. It'd be easy to dispatch them all, I'll execute them as examples of what happens when you refuse a chancellor. But Von Schleicher's beyond such barbarity. Much of his enemies were no less than pawns, blindly resisting his power because that's all that they could do. Pardoning those with no real ambition against a chancellor prove a much better prevention of defiance. I'm gonna grab that user speed. Um, I would like to invest in more stability, but you know, whatever. Let's keep working on ourselves. A frozen trial. The first dawn within the Grand Court without riots is tense. As the Chancellor has prisoners in Royal Garden of the Halls, there are fewer judges to greet the Chancellor's gaze. Uh, <clears throat> although none attempted to. As the queue took their place, the Chancellor remained standing. He then walked to the judge's bench, attempting to climb into it. Suderman intercepted him, eyes filled with indignation. The Chancellor ignored his gaze and looked into the judges. Uh, I will judge his trial, the old man bellowed. Such an outrageous demand ought to be returned with anger, yet the judges did nothing, eyes remaining still after a second. A judge left the bench, only one by one they left. Suderman, eyes slowly mirroring the judges slowly back from the bench, allowing the Chancellor to sit upon it. And there he judged the accused like a king in the court of justice. Hail the Ice Chancellor. Garrison's Garrison. 60 day focus. Oh, good Jesus Christ. Garrison was the Ice Council's favorite battlefield. The victories he had forged the ha have the forged there have made the area seen as impenetrable to our enemies. No power has so much as he scouted the region. With his power secured, Von Schleicher has called his trusted and loyal man from Garrison to reinforce the new Brandenburgish army. The experience and loyalty with the Chancellor will be of great use to him. 
confederate the North Dakotans. Most look toward the brawling tribes east of New Brandenburg and see not but barbarians running amok. In the eyes of the Ice Counselor, however, he sees the people just spread for a unifying force. He'll coax their leaders into an alliance and then unite the people through a shared war. Found rural Amer armories, not America, but armories. If the broads would tell us anything, it's not to rely upon our capital for protection. Creating armory, armories within the smaller towns of New Brandenburg will prevent military collapse. Should Bismarck be compromised, create city workshops. Organizing a manufacturing base within Bismarck is the most obvious solution to our armament needs. Several buildings will need to be allocated in defendable positions of the city, and with enough local population, fully fill the workshops. Manager March. New Brandenburg lacks any official military land from which to conduct training for both their troops and officers. You must immediately set aside land for the military to execute drills and mock battles. Two Very phases. Nice. Uh, let's see, the tribe of two peoples is a belligerent tribe that can only be controlled by the superstitious belief in the moon. Their leader takes great care to hoard knowledge of Earth's satellite to maintain his control over his people. Should. Uh, the Ice Council learn enough of the moon's orbit to predict its phase will undoubtedly cause the leader of the two peoples to become nervous of him uh, usurping their position. I'm sure he'll be open to discussing an alliance with them. A new moon. As predicted, announcing to his people when the moon would again be f full has caused the leader of the two peoples to open up to the possibility of an alliance. Should they accept, the moon will forever shine white for our people. As we continue to do a lot of research stuff, um, we need to go to war with the Roach King, or at least some of these people have to go to war with the Roach King so we can continue doing stuff here, like the Rotten Opportunity. Ever since the Roach King has conquered Grafton, the North Dakotans have been nervous of the next roach swarm with the ar anthro arthropods on the move again. Now is a perfect opportunity to form an alliance. Why go through this tedious process of enticing the nations in a confederation when the roach can do it all for us? The Radiant Isotope. How the children of the atom. Such a naive and bloodthirsty nation, their obsession with radioactive artifacts led to their decisive defeat by the hands of the Ice Counselor. A simple agreement to allow them to hoard all the radioactive waste they desire will be the perfect bait to snarl their devoted leader into an alliance. Wow, minus 500%, Jesus Christ. An unbreakable union. The leader of the Atom was even more zealous than anticipated. Uh, provided she doesn't realize that the ramifications of the treaty or alliance is assured, it's a bright day for New Brandenburg. Oh, yes, it will be. Uh, so quite ahead of time. She said have joined. Don't really care. It gets more manpower that way, too. We also did grab Chesel von Schleicher. So we get more recovery rate, more support, a division attack. And actually, we didn't get rid of Suderman here. Because we cannot do order prevails or burn our enemies and intimidate our rivals. So actually, we made out really well. So as long as we didn't take this one, we can still keep Suderman, and it gives us more 10% 10 10 more political power all, at all times. That's actually kind of busted. We get more defense on division, uh, more division defense on core territory, same ideology, monthly opinion, more political power, max entrenchment, license purchase cost, which I never do. Um, so that's actually not bad. Ooh, hello. Oh. A little bit of warfare for our troubles. Maybe, yes. Maybe no. Not bad. An unbreakable union. Approaching religion. Our victory. Uh, the League's domain. The River League dominates trade across New Brandenburg and much of the Missouri River. The commodities of the League is traded often get, get purchased and traded by New Brandenburgians, giving people access to more resources. Speherkite? If you want to build that, please go ahead. I want to say this is written, or uh, the story is written by a German native, which is totally fine with me. Just because it seems like there's not 100% trans, everything's translated perfectly, which is totally okay because I get it. Um, two people, so I guess they just rejected us, you know. Ah, I guess they did reject us, so. Well, we'll see. Now they did fight us. Let's go up there. You should be okay. Send, you know what? Send you two go right. Uh, something like that, maybe. Something a little funky. But this we're at war now. We do need more manpower because we were raising our conscription level, but now it's already raised. We need to go to waste and militia. Let's probably go to fund and militias next. It's for manpower issues. That's all. Just your normal manpower issues. That's all. Little shack market. There you go. Do that at least in circle one division. That'd be pretty decent. No, don't don't do that. Radiant isotope. Sure, why not? An unbreakable union. Well, we will see. Good. Bye. Well, Diana. Goodbye, Diana. I already knew ya. Hello. 
Ah. You guys go over there too. Also, since we have some territory now. Hopefully, we will be able to core everything. You guys got to settle right there for now. Your expression is. The masquerade of Dramate are uh, simple folk who believe that it's constantly living, or contently living one's character, and the surest way to achieve happiness. Now I'm going to grab more support. Offering economic concessions to allow such austere lifestyles will bring the masquerade into our fold. Perhaps they may even give a mask to the Ice Counselor. That'd be nice. <clears throat> Should be able to get this done. Special Forces is generally pretty darn decent. Very nice. Help him out, why not? Alright, so you guys go right there. And go right there. Let's do that. Let's do that. Also, we did get this division template to use words with. So we got some combat with. Um, we got support doggos, which is pretty nice as well. So, pretty happy with that overall. Good, good, good. Do that and circle one more division, and then we'll call it just happy fun times. Nice. Good overall. Good, good, good. Let them go in. Unbreakable unit, and let everyone else just do what they need to do. Or you guys you do that and do that, and then literally just cut them all off. That'll work. So that's going to hurt our. Resource efficiency gain and recruitable population factor and consumer goods for a year. Oh, great. And encroaching religion. These Orthodox followers are even more zealous than their atomic counterparts. Many a preacher have been mistakenly shot by the Ice Counselors, men in garrison, on their own mission from God. Had they been on a more hostile religion, they would have attacked men would have been attacked by now. Offering rights to preach in our lands would guarantee their cooperation should they forgive us. Forgive and unite. While the Patriarch was all too happy to sign the agreements, his people are much more hesitant. It may be a long while before they forgive and unite uh, with our nation. Interstage, right. Like in everything they do, the masquerade nonchalantly accepted our alliance. Their people will soon play a part in the grand play of the Chancellor's design. Sturdy boot would be nice. Now that the oh, now that the Rochers have been used to their full potential, it's time to exterminate them. Oh goodness. Nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Nope. So now they may go to war with us. So we can do this here. Be nice. A little bit of time. Oh, what was that? I didn't realize what that was. Crap. Well, let's get through this one. Forty-five day focuses. I hate, but whatever. Please hold on. Please hold out. Cause that's another sixty days on top of that. So. Hopefully things go well for us, cause these guys, how strong are these rad roach roaches? That was a manpower. Up to left. Ah, oh, it's not bad. We have 12 divisions ourselves, so. Oh, Ross, not bad. Um, we can't do this one. We can't do commando either. I did. Regiment focus, huh? Well, we might be able to do that later. I'll save that one for later then. Um, for this one, we're gonna go with. Oh no, explosive weaponry. We're earning reliability and defense quite a bit, but give more production costs, soft attack, hard attack. And we're kind of playing into what we've already established, so. Remove hazardous exports. Yeah. So, hey, we'll, so, so we'll see. A sturdy boost, or boot. Now the roach has been used to the full potential, it's time to exterminate them. Nobody likes roaches. The king of the rad roach has been has the entire Dakotas and even some of the Canada on edge. It should be easy to coax some roaches into attacking our allies. It will allow us to unify our people to be the most powerful force. Discuss those revolting arthropods. Or arthropods. Break the vault. Oh. Our confederation requires their bounds to harden a formidable yet rewarding task. No other quest can compare to the conquering vault 37 flowing rich resources. When the many people of Dakota's witness that other victories may bring, they may be more accepting of unification. So I want to get this one done first. They should be able to hold out for now. They seem to be doing okay. So let's wait first and see what happens. Begin a scavenging program. You bet we will. We got all this money here. Oh my God, that's all so much money. Is Mesberg a trading note? Oh, it is. There we 
There you go, nice. More money, please, more money. Excellent. Could really use more guns. Saws. Oh, heck yeah. Fire teams. Anti tank. So I really want to get this one done first. Spacherkite. Or Spacherkit. Fans, that's fine. Very good. Yeah, just guns suck. We don't have special forces equipment, but everything else is kind of sucky. And we have 100% stability, which is nice. North Dakota Confederation. Church of the Silo, huh? Nice. And everyone else is killing themselves, which is pretty normal. Pretty darn normal. About 10 more days left. I know they want us in. Yeah, 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 whatever. Launched like a. Oh, he gets us actually, he's a backstabber. More political power, more daily compliance gain, but he's an ice counselor, which more defensive core territory, less damage garrisons, and more even more daily compliance. We should be just swimming in compliance then, right? No? Okay. Ah, so they did come in. Study boost, huh? Or just go to war now. Ooh. Oh, so are we all in this now? Nice. Could just do 40 days, but whatever. Now you don't want us to come in? What's wrong with you? Some assimilated refugees, new citizens, scare package. We could do that, but I'm not going to because I don't want to. Um, we're not intellectuals here. Nope, and nope. Uh, monthly population, non core manpower resistance target. Experience soldiers lost, why not? We could do that. That'd be fine by me. But yeah, overall, not bad. I like this uh, um, sub mod for Old Blues. With the bribes, many people have become disillusioned with Brandenburg's wealthy. Look at that. Investing back into our communities will help restore the trust and comfort with the government. Nice. I'm feeling this is not going to last as long as we need it to to actually do the focus because everything's just pretty much open for us to take. So, yeah. Yeah, who likes regulated shack markets? I don't. Look at those roaches. Roach, 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 roach. Pretty much break the vault. Um, our confederation requires our bonds to hire him from a formidable yet rewarding task. No other quest can compare to the conquering Vault 37 as plenty of resources. When the many people of Dakota have witnessed their victories may, what they, our victories may bring, they may be more accepting of unification. Let's hope so. Where's the capital? Oh, Kando. Kondo. Well, alright then. Break the Vault. Nice. We're a very explosive people. And we won! Oh no, my finger slipped. We took all the territory. Well, there goes Break the Vault. Force consolidation? Well, the greatest threat to our alliance now taken care of. Uh, or to the nation's land, the Dakota people appreciate our alliance wholeheartedly. Now the pressure of the government is becoming fully absorbent in the Brandenburg. Trophy which happens, but we're going to have to end the episode there. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we we'll continue to see what else we have in store for uniting all the Dakotas. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great new Brandenburg Bismarck and Chancellor von Schleicher rest of your day.